How's it going gamers, Luis here from Gaming Vlog Network, and Sony just released their newest firmware for the PlayStation 4, firmware 3.5, and with this new firmware you get the support to stream your PlayStation 4 games through remote play to your Windows PC and your Mac, so here's how you do that. First you're going to need to have your PS4 updated to the latest firmware, and then go to the description of this video and download the remote play application. It's available for Macs on El Capitan and for Windows PCs running Windows 8 or above. Once you have the application downloaded and installed, you'll get prompted to plug in your DualShock 4 into your computer. Just go ahead and plug it through a USB port. Once you connect your controller and you hit start, you should be prompted to log into your PlayStation Network account. Log into the account that's on your PS4. So in my case, my PS4 account username is Luis Macintosh. That's the account I should log into on my PC. Once you log in your information, you should see a loading screen depending on your internet connection, whether it's good or bad. It might take a few seconds or a few minutes, but eventually you should see your PS4 pop up on your computer screen. And by default, the maximum resolution and frame rate of the stream, I believe, is 720p60. But depending on your game and your internet connection, that might vary. So if you're playing a game on your PS4 that by default is a 1080p30 game, it's probably going to run at 720p30 if your internet connection is really good. But if you're running a game that runs at, I don't know, 900p, 60 frames per second on your PS4, then by default it'll probably run at 720p60 on your stream. And currently there really isn't any way to change the settings of your stream, so if you want to drop the resolution down so you can get a higher frame rate, there really isn't an option to do that. It's just strictly done by Sony through their application. Now I tested this running on a 2012 MacBook Pro non-retina through Wi-Fi and a gaming PC I built myself through an Ethernet port. Now my internet connection for reference is 200 megabits down, 25 up and I got a solid 720p30 on both machines running the Final Fantasy XV Platinum demo. I really didn't get any latency on either machines in terms of like pushing a button and then seeing a reaction. The only weird case was on the MacBook where it has a really weird resolution. I would get widescreen bars because it isn't the perfect 720p resolution on my MacBook. And also I'd get a slight stutter every few minutes to just see if the connection would reconnect on my MacBook. Probably a factor of being in a house full of wireless devices and trying to connect through Wi-Fi. Whereas like something like my gaming PC is connected through wired. But overall the remote play application works really well. It works well with my MacBook and it works well with my gaming PC. So if you want to try it out for yourself and you have a PS4, go ahead and update the firmware on your PS4 and download the application from the description below and you should be set to go. I've only tested this through my local Wi-Fi so I don't know if it works at a Starbucks or at a McDonald's or somewhere else in the world away from your PS4. But if you can actually test that out yourself, feel free to leave the results in the comment section below. Now before I go, I have a little PlayStation Vita related giveaway to do. A few videos ago, I did a video on what's on my PlayStation Vita. And within that video, I showed you guys these little grips I had. They're basically Xbox One controller analog grips that snap onto your Vita's analog sticks. So basically, you get Xbox One analog sticks on your PlayStation Vita for the cheap. And I'm guessing a bunch of you guys bought them and then told the seller about my video because the seller actually contacted me and gave me a bunch of them to give away. So in this video, I'll be giving away three Xbox One analog stick grips for your PlayStation Vita. They just snap on, they're pretty easy to install, and you can snap them off if you don't want them anymore. This giveaway will be open for one week in the United States only. Sorry, shipping is really expensive, but if you want to enter, I'll have a link to the Gleam Enter page in the description below. And because I know a bunch of people are going to ask me, when are you going to announce the winner? How are you going to announce the winner? I'm going to do it on Twitter, so follow me on Twitter. That's actually one of the requirements for the giveaway. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching the video. Hope you guys found it useful and enjoyable. If you want to keep up to date with me off of YouTube, you can check out my social network links in the description below. I also have all my gaming usernames if you want to play PlayStation, Xbox, uh, PC, or Nintendo with me. All that stuff is in the description below. Thank you all for being some awesome viewers, and I'll catch you all in the next one.